So my buddy Jay calls me and he says, Casey, I know you've had some problems with your rear end and I can help you with that. I said, Jay, two things. Uh, number one, this is a very strange way to start off a conversation. Uh, and B, uh, tell me more. So we proceeded to have a very awkward conversation about my rear end, which Jay seemed to know way too much about. And then it hit me, like, wait a minute. Uh, Jay works for Banks Power. And he's also the co-host of the Truck Show podcast uh, over at Motor Trend along with Sean Holman. So maybe he's talking about that rear end. So after that, things got a whole lot less awkward. Uh, Jay sent me over something to help out my rear end problem. And uh, today I'm going to tell you why this truck's had so many rear ends in it, uh, what we're doing to hopefully make this the last one, and uh, how I can save you some money if you decide to do the same thing. So this is the third rear end that has been in my 2014 Ram 3500, and I'd really like it to be the last. So today we're going to try to help make that happen. And uh, if you hear the parrot in the background, um, my neighbor's just got a parrot, so that's fun. So if you're wondering why this truck has already gone through uh, two rear ends and is on number three, uh, it's because the previous owner did something dumb and then uh, did something dumb again with the next one, so now we're, we're here on number three. Uh, as you can see, this is a tow truck. It tows cars. And the previous owner put a tuner in this, hopped it all the way up, and was towing cars with the tuner on, like, race mode or whatever its most extreme was. And with the big car on the back, a lot of weight on it, flat-footed the throttle, and uh, the torque spun the tubes in the diff and spun that whole diff straight up, ripped the driveline out of it into the bottom of the bed, ripped everything out of the back of the transfer case, and uh, made a big uh, oily mess on the side of the road. So that rear end got replaced, another one got put in, and when they did, they welded the tubes right here so that these plug welds couldn't break loose and rip these tubes out again. Uh, the only problem was instead of tacking it all in place and then welding it evenly, they started at the top, welded super hot to the bottom, went to the other side, and did the same thing. Well, that caused a major alignment issue because when they did that, it warped the tubes and bent them back, which towed both of the rear tires out. I think a total between the two tires of just under two degrees, and it was just eating up tires. So then I had to find this replacement rear end and get installed in here, and uh, we're going to try to make this one last. And we're going to do that with the Banks Ram Air Diff Cover. This thing is quite a bit different than anything else in the market. As you can see down below, it's got these huge fins uh, that take air from underneath the truck and scoop it back up over the diff cover. As you can see, these things are huge. Like, you can stick your hand into them. They catch a lot of air and scoop it up, and it goes back up over the diff from underneath the truck and directs it up to cool everything down and aluminum is a very good heat sink it is very good at pulling heat out of things and dissipating it so it's a die cast cover most every other aluminum diff cover you've ever seen is a sand cast die cast is a lot stronger it's got these big huge fins on it to uh, once it draws that heat out dissipate it into the air just like basically a radiator and these huge scoops like huge scoops flow a ton of air up over that then on the other side, it gets uh, even cooler because they put some serious, serious thought into this. All right, before I show you why they did what they did in there, I need to show you how a stock one works. And uh, this is a horrible example to show you because there's a wheel lift in the way. So we're going to go find something that's easier. So this is the diff cover on the back of my 48 wheelies, and it's easy to see because it's, it's wide open. Uh, you can see that a factory diff cover is the shape of the ring gear, and some of them are even... Uh, indented in to keep the oil near the ring gear. That's all very specific in design. You notice no factory diff cover ever has a big flat back on it like a lot of the aftermarket ones. There's very good reason for that. So now that we've seen that, we'll go look at that Banks cover again and it'll make a little more sense. Okay, now notice all these different fins they have in here. Uh, they have these horizontal ones here, horizontal here, these ones right here that follow the ring gear around, and then they have these side kickers. So what these horizontal grooves here do is they basically help turn that ring gear that's spinning around inside of here into a water wheel. And it, it carries the oil up to the top and then throws it forward onto the pinion gear that's up at the front of the diff to help lubricate that. Now of course not all the oil that's going up is staying in those ring gear teeth. A bunch of it's getting kicked out to the sides which is grabbed by these and thrown sideways out into the axle tube. So this, this cover actually throws the oil out into the axle tubes to get to the wheel bearings at the end of the axle and keep those nice and lubricated. So as oil is going into the axle, of course oil is coming back out of the axle. As it comes out of the axle tubes and falls down into here, these fins stop it from going straight back onto that spinning ring gear 
it catches here, has to filter down and then flow into the bottom to then get spun up again. That prevents all the aeration and bubbles, which of course air in your oil makes it more air than oil and therefore not lubricating as good. So there's a ton of engineering and thought gone into that diff cover and it actually works. At the end of this video, I'll put a link to uh, Banks's video about this diff cover and they actually have a couple other videos about other diff covers too. Uh, they designed a, uh, a plexiglass clear version of the flat back diff covers that everybody thinks are so great and showed huge, huge problems with how they actually work because you can watch the oil move inside and they did the same with this and you can see massive difference. Uh, that's actually a really cool series of videos if you're like me and like to to nerd out on that type of stuff. So that link will be at the end of this. For now, I'm gonna get stock diff cover pulled on, pulled off, and this one thrown on. So, while we get this pulled off of here, let's get a few things straight. First and most importantly, yes, this is a kitty litter uh, pan. I have a really nice uh, actual drain pan around here somewhere. Cannot find it, so a somewhat cleaned out kitty litter pan. Uh, number two, yes, Banks sent me this for free. Not this, this is mine. Uh, their, their diff cover. They did send to me for free. No, they are not paying me to make this video. There's no affiliate deal I'm getting out of this, nothing. They just sent me the diff cover. And uh, also, no, they did not send me a script with the diff cover of what I have to say about it. There's actually companies that do that, just so you know. And uh, I don't do that. So yes, they sent it to me for free. That's as far as this goes. The rest of it is because I actually think it's a really good product. Uh, and number three, uh, my neighbor who got the Parrot, uh, apparently they also got a leaf blower. So there might be a leaf blower too. So uh, we're gonna get this the rest of the way off. Okay, that's all the bolts out. And if you notice, nothing happened. That's because uh, this diff cover has a bunch of RTV in there to make a gasket out of like most diff covers do. And uh, you also notice there's no drain plug in this diff, so the only way to get this oil out of here and get this thing off is to uh, try to pry that RTV loose, which is going to pop open all at once, spill and make a big old mess all at once, and I know that's what you're waiting for, but I'm going to try not to do it. Uh, the bank's cover, on the other hand, does have a drain plug that's got a magnet on it so that when you service your diff, you can see uh, if there's little uh, parts and pieces, metallic stuff stuck to it, or uh, chunks, which hopefully you don't see, but there's chunks, you'll see it. So that's another nice thing about that other cover. So I'm going to get a screwdriver or something and pop this loose. Oh, it's going well. All right. I'm going to uh, let that slowly come out of there. That actually went better than I thought. Okay. Uh, a drain plug would still be preferred, but... I'm okay with what just happened here. All right. I just had a terrible thought. Uh, I might have screwed up. So, uh, Jay sent me a diff cover for a 2014 Ram. Because I told him that's what I have because it's a 2014 Ram, but I just saw the uh, wheel speed sensor ring here on the side of the ring gear and remembered that this is a 2008 axle, not a 14. So hopefully they're the same bolt pattern and like cover thing would be cool. Whoops. Okay, just to show you what I'm talking about here, uh, this ring here and all these little teeth uh, don't exist on the 2014s. This is on the earlier model. Uh, this is how the truck reads the wheel speed when it goes across the sensor up there. On the 2014s, uh, the wheel speed sensors are out here in the wheel. This big one over here is the ring gear. This is just a speed sensor tone ring, so uh, hopefully that's not an issue. All right, so I laid them out side by side. It looks like it's going to work. And then I went on to the Banks website, that's bankspower.com, and looked up the SKU numbers. And uh, it's the same SKU number for 2008 and 2014, so I think I'm going to be okay. Okay, since it seems we're all good to go, I'm going to put the O-ring in. Uh, this diff cover uses an O-ring uh, seal instead of a rubber gasket, paper gasket, RTV, or... You know that other stuff so let's pop it on pop it off no mess super easy and uh, 
and I don't know what I was going to say after that, so I'm just going to keep putting this O-ring in. All right, now a wire wheel on the end of a drill makes it super easy to clean up. Uh, you can get like three or four packs of these at Harbor Freight. Uh, they're super cheap and they're super handy. And now the other part I'm concerned about is will this cover fit around the ring gear? And I guess, yes it does. Okay, never mind all that I was about to say. Uh, I was concerned of whether or not that was going to fit between this wheel lift and the ring gear to get it on there since it's so much thicker, but it does so yay get a bolt in to hold it up here and get another bolt in to hold it uh, somewhere else and then we can go get the rest of the bolts I did measure this out and uh, there's room for the diff cover between the wheel lift I was just wasn't sure if I could get it around the ring gear on there to see it in place with that in the way and I I didn't want to take the axle out to change the diff cover so Glad that worked. Okay, got all the bolts in. They're Loctite and torqued down. All that good stuff. Um, and this is the part where I have to kind of question the, the thought process of the people over at Banks a little bit. And uh, not Gail, who comes up with all these good ideas, and the, the engineers and fabricators who make them a, a reality. More of a Jay. Uh, Jay does all the marketing over there at Banks. And he decided to display their product by sending it to a guy who's whose truck completely hides their product. So um, I'm okay with that decision, but I uh, don't know how good a one it was. So comment down below and let Jay know whether it's a good idea to send me stuff like this or not when my truck just completely hides it. Uh, but we're going to get it filled up with some Amsoil. And uh, fun fact, I used to be sponsored by Amsoil back when I raced monster trucks. Well, I wasn't personally. The, the team I raced for was sponsored by Amsoil. Uh, that was a super handy sponsorship to have because that's what we were running in everything even before they sponsored us and uh so we didn't have to switch brands we got the oil we wanted it was a really good deal and then uh, banks did a whole bunch of testing in addition to testing all the competitors diff covers they also tested a whole bunch of oils and they found the best performance with amsoil as well so that just confirms what we thought way back then and, and amsoil if uh if you're watching this i know you're not but if you are and uh, you see this beautiful display of your product on a, a cardboard box in front of an oily kitty litter uh, tray. And you want this professional level of product display on the regular. Just, you know, let me know. We can talk. This is, there's no way they're ever going <laughs> to reach out. But either way, uh, we're going to get filled up with this. Um, a very handy thing about the bank stiff cover, especially for someone like me who has this wheel lift right in the way of the fill plug, is uh, for theirs, it's just a sight plug that you would be able to look at your diff cover and make sure you have oil in, but I have this in the way. Uh, the fill plug is actually up here on top, which is going to be really easy, especially with this oil in pouches, because I can just fill it instead of uh, the nightmare it usually is to fill a diff cover on this truck with the uh, wheel lift in the way. So we're going to get that going, and then uh, we'll take it for a drive. So just got the diff filled with oil, and I can tell you if you've got some weird, tricky, or hard place to try to get oil into, uh, squeeze pouches. Uh, absolutely the way to go granted that uh, top fill plug that banks put in there is going to make it just no big deal at all in any other truck but i still have the wheel lift in the way so uh pouches pouches make everything better hold up hey amsoil uh hear me out for a sec it's going to sound super dumb but i just had a thought uh i am the perfect person to promote your pouches make everything better campaign i don't know if that's actually your campaign or not but that's what we're going with because pouches quite literally make me better see think about it okay so if you're ever wondering why uh, other youtube channels have these big sponsorships and i don't have uh, any it's because other youtubers are doing things like reading from scripts and uh, setting up fancy displays with lighting and all that stuff and i'm over here comparing their products to uh, my ostomy bag and displaying them on kitty litter bins so uh, that probably has something to do with it but back to the diff cover, as you can see, here's where that ram air scoop comes out and takes all the air and runs it up over the diff cover. And one concern you might have, especially if you're an off-road guy like me, is what if a rock comes down and hooks this? Will it, you know, break your diff cover off, dump all your oil out, and then you're stranded? Uh, no, this is actually all designed to break away. And if you catch a rock or something like that on this, uh, this whole fin will break off and leave your diff cover completely intact. And fun fact, even without these scoops, this diff cover, that's actually over here, uh, will actually still outperform the stock diff cover and all those big flat back ones and, and all that stuff, even without this. 
So now we're going to go for a drive to town and check the temperature on this. Uh, yesterday I drove home from town when it was actually 5 degrees cooler outside than it is today. And I checked the temperature when I got here. So I'm going to make the opposite drive right now. I will check the temperature again and see what the difference actually is. Okay, welcome to yesterday when I just drove home from town, well almost all the way home. We're going to check temperature here. We've got 108.8. Uh, at the bottom of the diff cover and uh, it is like uh, about 82 degrees out right now and uh, tomorrow which is the today that you're watching this we will do this again and see the difference all right so we're gonna make the exact opposite drive of what I did yesterday going into town it's about a 20 minute or so drive and uh, it's all pretty well flat no big uphill or downhill either way and uh, today is actually not five degrees hotter like I said it turns out it's only three degrees hotter but that's still given the slight advantage to the stock diff cover as far as ambient air temperature goes so uh, I'm gonna head into town and then we'll check the temperature and see what the difference is okay now it is today again and uh, we're back in town we got 99 degrees down at the fins which is uh, Remember, way off out of the uh, diff cover itself, so that shows how much heat they're at, that this aluminum fins are actually pulling out of the cover. If we get uh, inside of there to the core of it, uh, 101.9, 102. So that's like 10 degrees cooler than it was yesterday on a 3 degree hotter day. Now obviously that is uh, empty, not towing anything, just driving around on its own. If you're towing, climbing hills, all that, the temperatures are going to get bigger but the difference between temperatures is going to get bigger as well uh, if you want to see all the different uh, actual real towing tests and hill climbing tests and all that stuff under load uh, that banks video video that's at the end of this will have all that stuff in it and they do super cool bar graphs and all that stuff so you can really see the difference so to recap were any of the previous rear end failures of this truck uh, due to bearings or gears no they weren't uh, but since this is the third rear end in this truck, I am all for anything that makes it last as long as possible, which this is going to do. Uh, especially when it's such a simple, easy thing that anyone can do in your driveway or in your garage with just some simple hand tools. Now, I actually had the option to go do this on the lift at Elite Fleet Automotive, which would have been way better for like filming and lighting and all that stuff. But uh, I chose to just do it on the floor uh, like 99% of you would be doing anyway, just with some hand tools. No big deal, super easy project that makes a big difference for your differential. Uh, up to five times more cooling, lower oil temps, more oil flow over the bearings without having one of them big giant diff covers that tries to hold a whole 55 gallon drum worth of oil in your diff for no reason, longer service intervals, sight glass to make it super easy to check your fluid, top fill plug, magnetic drain plug, a discount code for 10% off, and it is just hands down the best product in the market for keeping your rear diff cool. They're, they're simply no two ways about that so it's a simple fact and if you want to see why uh, go click on this video right here from banks and it'll show you uh, how they came up with the idea for it why they designed it what the way they did what the problem is with the competitors diff covers and all of the in-shop testing to back up their claims it's an awesome video go check it out and tell them i i sent you over there